Hello everyone, welcome to Christina's Corner where we're going to learn everything Excel today. First, we're going to start off by opening the program and this is what you see when you open Excel for the first time. What we're going to do for right now is we're just going to open a blank workbook. This is what the software looks like whenever you first open it. This right here at the very top where my mouse is circling is called the Quick Access Toolbar. Over here on the right hand side we have the Minimize. If you click that it minimizes it. If you click this one it's just going to make it smaller. You click it again and it makes it full screen again. This right here will close it. This right here where it has Book 1 Excel is known as the Title Bar. Right here we have different tabs inside the ribbon. Each tab has different commands on it that you can click on and use while you're using the program. There's the Home, there's Insert. You'll notice there's different commands on each tab. Play around with it and see what all different commands you'll find. Right here is the name box. It tells you which cell you're located in. Right now we're in the cell H3. This right here is called the formula bar where my cursor is. Right here is called the active cell. It is where my cursor is located and it also tells me right up here in the name box. The A, B, C, the alphabet is actually columns. There are many columns in Excel. The numbers are actually rows. You can see 1 through 23 on my screen, but the numbers go on and on. All you need to do is use your mouse and scroll down, or you can drag the scroll bar on the right hand side. And if you want to get to some of the other columns, the ones at the top, the slave by the alphabet, you just drag this slider down here at the bottom. As you notice, we have different sheets that you can be made. This is sheet one. If you want to create another sheet, click the plus button. If you highlight it and double click on it, that's going to let you be able to change it. And we can say examples and then hit the enter key and it labels that sheet by examples. Down here in the far right hand corner, we have different views for Excel. By default, it opens in a normal view. But if you wanted to change the view, all you have to do is click the different one right beside of it. And this one's going to be page layout view. And as you notice, this is how it'll look if you were to print it. There's also a page break view. But we're going to go back over here to normal. We also can zoom in and out of the notebook or the workbook. You can drag this bar and make it bigger, or if you like, you can drag it to the left and make it smaller, or if you want to use the plus, you can use that, or if you want to use the minus, it's however you want to do it. Now we're going to get started by adding some information and stuff into our spreadsheet here. I'm just going to type hello. And then I can hit enter to get down to the next cell. And then I'm going to type everyone. And hit enter again. And then that drops me back down to the next cell, which is A3. By default, it puts everything as Calibri 11. But if you want to change the fonts and make it look different, come up here to the font styles. And you can select different types of fonts to use. For right now, I'm just going to select Arial. If I wanted to make that size bigger, we can increase or decrease the font size. If we click 8, it's going to make it smaller. But if we click 20, it's going to make it bigger. We're going to do the same thing down here. We want to just choose a different one and make it really big. Well, as you can tell, it goes outside of the cell. So what we may want to do is come up here to the top of the column 
and if your mouse it'll change into a line with two arrows if we click that and drag it to the right the word will fit inside of the column here well what if we want to use numbers well let's just put in some numbers and hit enter I want to put in some more well what if we want this one to be a different color we'll come up here to the color of it and we're going to change the color of the font we may want this one to be red what if we want hello to be blue we can also add bold we're going to come down here to the number and we're going to click bold it makes it darker and if you wanted to underline it it puts a line underneath it or if you wanted to italicize it it's however you want it to display on your screen we'll play around with that and let you try some of the different sizes fonts with this one here as you can tell it's aligning to the right hand side but what if we wanted it centered if you come into the alignment area there's different ways that we can have this align you can do left align center or we can do right align we're going to center this one for now and as you can tell it puts it right in the center of the column well what if we don't like it being in the center always remember up here at the top there is a handy little undo feature if you click this at the very top it'll change it back to the way it was right before you made the change and that will let you undo putting it into the center now we're going to click down here in a6 what if we wanted this one to have a background color or a feel to the cell itself if we come up here to fill color we can select different colors that we may want to fill that background with so we're just going to select yellow for right now and this will fill that cell with the yellow background you may have noticed as I was clicking up here at the top that you see these little drop down settings if you click on those drop down settings it's going to pop up a font settings or a format sales dialog this is going to let you change your font your font style the size you can give it different underline effects right now it's none it lets you change the color that way you can also change different things say we want this 15 to be a dollar we can come up here and click the dollar and that's going to add a dollar sign in front of it we can also right here right click and do format sales it's another quick handy way to find different settings as you noticed it brings up the same thing that it did when we clicked on up here there's always different ways to get to the same type of settings so just play around and it's whichever one that you feel comfortable using we may decide that we don't want this fifteen dollars being in this cell so what we can do is we can come up here at the top and click cut and what if we want to put it right here beside of everyone in cell C2 well all we have to do is click on paste and what that did is it moved it from down here and put it up here you can also highlight that cell instead of doing cut what if we wanted to copy we can click copy and it come down here below it in the C5 and we could also do control V that also paste so if you don't want to have to come up here to the top and click paste there's also handy shortcuts I'm sure if you Google online you'll find all different kinds of shortcuts that you can use with Excel but the most common is control C for copy and control V for paste and control X for cut 
Now we're going to be here in A8, cell A8. If we want to move around, you can always use your mouse and click into the different cells that you want to get into. But if you don't want to have to use your mouse all the time, you can also use the up key. That'll move you up one cell. You can use the down key. That brings you down one cell. You can use the right key and that takes you over to another column. Or you can use the back arrow key to take you back to the one that you were previously in, which is going to be the B8. Um, there's different ways to move around inside of Excel. You can also, if you're in B8 and you hit the tab key, it should move us right over to C8. So try using the tab key. I'd like to show you some of the things that you can use to create with Excel. If we come up here to the File tab and click it, then you can go to New. As you notice, there is templates available online that you can use. And it's also right here with Excel. You could actually make a monthly calendar. You can do personal budgets. You can do invoices. You could even make a schedule. The possibilities are endless. All you have to do is just click on that file, go to New, and then select any of the available templates. You can also search for different ones, like if you wanted business ones. If you click on that, it'll bring up different business templates. And if you don't want those, you can click back to All. You can find personal ones. You can do planners and trackers, list, budgets, charts, calendars. Let's just do a simple calendar right now. We'll take this one right here. It says Seasonal Photo Calendar. And as you noticed, it opens up the calendar for us to use. And it also gives us a little diagram or a little helpful tip. So, as you can tell, down here at the bottom, it has a January, February, March, April, every month of the year. Well, since we're currently in April, we'll click on it. And it should let you go in there and say if we wanted to add something. We could type in anything right there. We could add Easter holiday. If we didn't like that, don't want it there, just click the undo. This will allow you to make your own personalized calendars that you can save, that you can print out. If we want to save it, always, always save your work. Just click on File, click on Save As. I recommend personally putting it inside of your Documents folder. And then we can call it whatever you like. We're just going to highlight that area. And what I did is I put my mouse right there. I clicked on the left-hand button and then drug it across. And I'm going to hit the backspace. And I'm going to hit spacebar. And I'm going to type calendar. And then I'm going to click save. You never know when you'll need to save that and be able to share it with anyone that you want to. Or be able to go back to it and add more events. Now I'd like to show you some of the different things that you can do with Excel. Let's create another tab. I'm going to zoom in so that it makes it bigger so everyone can see. We're going to just put in some random numbers. You can use Excel to make simple formulas. Just remember that all formulas must start with an equal sign, so we're going to type equals. Hey, as I was saying, all formulas have to start with an equal sign. Let me show you an easy way. If we come up here to formulas, we can click in cell A5, and then we're going to click auto sum. And we just want the sum of all the numbers that's in that column. As you notice, it puts the equals, sum, 
parentheses and it starts at A1 and then it does a colon to A4. This is our simple formula. If we hit the enter key, it's going to total that number of the 45, 89, 58, 25 and the total should be 217. Remember, your simple formulas can be addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Remember the old phrase that we learned in school, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses will be first, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Excel also follows these same rules whenever you're doing formulas for your math. I'd also like to show you some of the other templates that's available. So if we're going to go back up here and click on File, click on New, and we're just going to click on Budgets. I find these helpful at the house to keep up with my monthly budgets, and you may find this helpful as well. As you can tell, there is all sorts of budgets. They've got them categorized by personal, business, the possibilities are endless, guys. Just look around and find which one you like best. Say we just want to see a simple one. We're just going to pick this household one and click Create. At the bottom here, you can tell we've got a budget overview. It kind of gives you an idea of some of the things that are in this. It also has different sheets available where you can put in all the budget items that you could have. It also has it broke down by monthly expenses and then any other additional data that you may want to add to it. Just play around with it, see which works best for you. You may not like this one. You may like one of the other budget templates that's available. It's whatever you want to use. There's all kinds of different templates there that you can use and choose from. You can even create your own budget if you want to. One of the other helpful things I found in Excel is this great help feature up here at the top. If you click on it, it should pull up this menu. You can actually click the help button here and on the right hand side over here, it'll pull up helpful tents. Say you're needing help with something. If you need help with the rows, columns, and cells. Say you're needing help with formulas and functions. Let's click on that. It's going to bring up all these available things that you will find that you may need help with while you're creating your Excel spreadsheet. Say we want to know more, just an overview of the different formulas. If we click on that, it's going to pull up Tell us a little bit about it. There's even a video that Microsoft created on how to create formulas. It tells you step-by-step -step instructions. You just scroll down and if it's not what you're looking for, there may be other things here that you're looking for that's related to formulas. All you have to do is click on whichever one that you might want. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about Excel with me here at Christina's Corner at the Thomasville Library, part of the Davidson County Public Library System. I'm still learning all of the features and commands available to create the best spreadsheet too, but we can keep learning together. Remember, you can use the available templates or you can create your own, that you can format it the way you want it to look with by changing the fonts, the colors, the size, and so much more. The sky is the limit on how you want your spreadsheet to look. Play around with the different commands and if you don't like it, all you have to do is click the undo button and don't forget to save your work if you need it. Tune in next time to see what we can learn together. I hope you guys have a great day. Mm -hmm.